Now that's fast. Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Timmy from Pure Kicks, back again with another performance review. And as you guys can tell by the title, today we take a look at the Air Jordan 33. Let's get it. So of course, first things first, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Welcome if you are. And make sure you never miss a thing when it comes to Pure Kicks, whether it's our performance reviews, our comparisons, our NBA talks. Hit that subscribe button and join the Pure Kicks gang. With that being said, I definitely recommend that you guys subscribe. I know it has nothing to do with this video, but we're actually giving away a pair of our Adidas Pro Bounce 2018s to a lucky winner. So head over to that performance review, comment your size down below, and of course subscribe to the channel to be with a chance to win. Now with that being said, now out of the way, let's get into how the shoe performs. So starting out, even though it's got nothing to do with the performance of the shoe, talking about how the Edge Jordan 33 looks. Now I think they look pretty clean. I didn't actually like them from initial pictures. I really actually like this colorway, inspired by astronaut suits, taking flight to the next level, if you will. I do really like them on feet. I didn't like them in pictures, but once we got them in hand, they're a pretty clean looking shoe. Definitely clumpy looking, definitely quite big looking, but don't look as bad on feet. So starting out with what I like most about the shoe is probably gonna have to be the fit. Probably the most exciting part of the Air Jordan 3 is that they took away laces and replaced it with this, what they call a fast fit system, which is basically an elastic band across the foot, which you pull, which tightens the shoe. And it actually does the trick. It's not gimmicky, which sometimes things can be, but it actually does the trick. It is actually a very fast system to lace up and it's oddly satisfying to do so. That paired up with the half booty construction makes the shoe pretty easy to get on and once it is on you do feel locked in, you do feel very very snug thanks to the padding on the inside and of course that fast fit system which is adaptable to whichever fit you see best. And with all that being said, the shoe is also true to size which we love. I'm a size 12, I got a size 12, ordered them online and they did the absolute trick. So I don't think you can have much problem ordering yourself a pair as well. So with all that being said, straight out of the gate, the Air Jordan 33 Fit comes in at a very strong eight. Why? That new lacing system does the absolute trick. It's no gimmicks here. The half booty construction feels great. You do feel really locked in. And yeah, I think an eight makes sense. Next up, moving on to support. The Air Jordan 33 makes you feel locked in and locked down. Thanks to the different materials it's got going on, they all do their job the way they need to. So you really feel like your foot is held into the shoe from every which way. We have an internal heel counter which is backed up by the second strap on the inside of the shoe, along with a very small but useful outrigger which does a trick for lateral support, which is backed up again by that fast fit lacing system, which is backed up by again by another piece of material to hold you in naturally as well. So all in all, I felt super locked in, super locked down when I laced these up. Pulled these up late. You know what I mean? So if I had to give these a score, it's definitely gonna have to be an eight. I'll explain why it's not a 10 a little later in the video, but an eight is still a very strong score. Hey, yo, T. What does the new... The new Jordans? The, the, the new Jordans right here? Those are the new Jays? Oh, these are the game for the threes. Can we see these before you see these? So next up, talking about cushioning. And here on the Air Jordan 33, we see flight speed technology, which you've seen on most of the Jordan line as well. Four foot zoom along with hill zoom, pieced with TPU in the middle to make it feel basically like four foot zoom along with a phylon carrier to kind of piece it all together. Did it strict for sure? Definitely felt that zoom in the forefoot. I never really knew or really feel the real reason for heel zoom, unless it's full length. And you do kind of get a little bit of full length feeling when we're talking flight speed. The phylon carrier is pretty rigid. It's definitely not called out, which does make it a little on the heavier side. What you lose when you're trying to get this um, illusion of full length zoom is heel to toe transition. It doesn't feel great. It feels super close to the ground. It's probably part of the design as well, where it's just a really flat shoe. You really, really miss that part out, which does add, which feels like it adds to the weight of the shoe, it does feel like it adds to the clumpiness of the shoe. It's just not there, which is unfortunate. But the cushioning does feel really good when you're landing from your jump shots and your rebounds and 
just basketball in general, it does feel really, really nice. So with that being said, the cushioning comes in at a seven out of 10. I think that's strong. It's above average, so that's pretty good. Next up, we're talking about traction. Now here in Air Jordan 33, we see this really aggressive traction pattern, which is built up of individual nose, multi-directional across the shoe. Does the absolute trick, does feel really, really good. Even on those dusty courts, you know we play on already. It didn't pick up too much dust, I guess, enough you would probably expect from the dusty courts that I'm pretty sure we all play on, but it was pretty good. There wasn't too much wiping. Didn't feel like it was annoying. There was a few inconsistencies, but sometimes to be expected when playing on dusty courts. Now, if we're talking outdoor use, these are individual nodes and on a translucent outsole. So it's gonna be a big fat no, because that combination never works outdoors. If you do end up taking them out, or if you want to take them out, try and maybe hold out for a solid rubber pair which might just hold up for a little longer, but individual nose never really do the trick. With all that being said, it's gonna be a seven out of 10 when we're talking traction, which is still a pretty good score. It's just it loses points when you can't take them outdoors or when it's just not as great on the dusty courts that it needs to be. When we know that the courts are gonna be dusty, we need a traction pack to go with that, which you've seen in some other shoes, but I guess not this one. So last and yes, least, the materials. I spoke about it a little earlier in the video about why maybe the support didn't quite get a 10 and the materials is the reason for that. Now I said that the materials came together, they did their thing, they all do their own job on different parts of the shoe. You know what, let me read a quote. This is a quote from Nike.com. Lightweight, breathable support. A combination of uppers provide support that won't weigh you down. Stop. You lying mother stop. Stop, stop, stop. And kiss my ass. Now this for me was a massive before M because there's just too many materials. Now I said earlier, yes, they all did their thing where they needed to do it, but I just feel like there's better ways to do so. By using, I think they've got suede, they've got leather, they've got textile mesh, they've got synthetics, overlays, there's just so much going on and it all adds to the weight of the shoe. The suede and the levers are two materials which have known to add weight to the shoe, but normally for good reason, but there's just too much going on. I said earlier in terms of the cushioning, the Phylon carrier itself isn't cored out and it just, you can feel the weight of it and it's just really tough to lace up, especially after lacing up so many other shoes this year. When you're talking about all these materials, especially your suede, your synthetics and your leathers, they all need breaking in. And that's just the last thing we ballers want nowadays to be able to break in a shoe when we're trying them out, maybe our first session or our first game. We last thing we want is to have to break in a shoe, which takes sometimes the first hour, which is fine. But then when it starts taking two, three, four sessions, that's when we've got an acid problem. So with all that being said, the materials in the Air Jordan 33 gets a six, which is above average. No, it's not above average. Six is average five and everything else loaded and that is just straight trash. So when we're talking a final score, the Air Jordan 33 comes in at 7.2 out of 10. The fast fit system is no gimmicks, does the absolute trick, along with the support system, making you feel super locked in and super locked down. Let down massively by the materials, there's just too many of them. So the Air Jordan 33, 7.2, I think makes complete sense. So right guys, there you have it. That's my thoughts on the Air Jordan 33. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the shoe if you've only seen them or if you've even tried them out as well. We'd love to know what you guys think. And of course, hit that subscribe button and be in with the note every time we drop a new video. Even hit the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video, whether it be our comparisons or our performance reviews anything at all, hit the bell and get notified every time. I said it at the beginning, but I'll say it again, it's got nothing to do with this video, but head over to our Adidas Pro Bounce 2018 performance review, where we're actually holding a giveaway for the shoe. So make sure you subscribe and comment your size below that video to be in with a chance to win. And lastly, hit us up on our socials. This is Pure Kicks across the board to find out what else we get to outside the studio. And we do hold giveaways over there too. So I'd suggest you get involved. So team, that's it from me. This is the Air Jordan 33. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.